Hey there, everybody. Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. Welcome to Felsbrunn. This is going to be a video guide to tutorial look at experiment on the weed control post patch update. Now, uh, for a few clarification, because I always get uh, kind of yelled about this. Um, this is on the PC. This is not on the console because the patch has not been released as of this recording. Um, which it, which it won't be when it goes out. Um, so, I'm doing an experiment because the patch is already out on PC. So, this should give us a general idea. Well, it should give us an idea of what it's going to be like, um after the release on console. I have had a lot of comments, suggestions, questions on weed control because a lot of people are really irritated, <laughs> including me, with the way weeds are done in FS19. But I wanted to see if there has been a difference since uh, the patch has been released and being I could do this on the PC, I thought I'd give it a shot. Um, it's 11.13 in the morning. What I have done is bought this field next to the store. I have limed it, I have cultiplowed it, and I have seeded it with soybeans. Now, I have tried to do this a few times, and this gets complicated. I mean, the weed control, to me, is a little too complex, a little too complicated. But we're going to do our best to try to explain it to you um, and show you what I mean. So, 11.15 in the morning, it has just been seeded. I've got soybeans in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the menu and I'm going to show you the way I have it set up for this experiment. As you can see, I have lime on, I have plowing on, I have crop destruction on, plant withering on, plant growth is set at normal, and of course, weeds are on. Now, I'm going to fast forward time to 120 speed. I'm using the in-game. Um, I did experiment around with a mod. There's a six times fast forward mod on the PC. But I went four days, and I didn't get any growth. So I'm just going to use the standard in-game mod. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at weeds, how fast they appear, and how we can get rid of them, and if they do reappear. I can tell you a few things from experimenting with the weeds so far. Um, when, it, when your bottom field info on the bottom right corner, you see right now it says fertilizer percent weed 0%. When that weed says 100%, I don't think it considers the growth of the weed. Because um, you're going to see the weeds grow, and when they are fully grown, they produce a flower. Which kind of makes sense in real life, I guess. Um, up until that point, I mean, when it says 100%, you, you can weed with a weeder. Um, weeds do not show up as fast. But when they do show up, it's basically 0 to 100% um, immediately. I also do notice that after you take care of the weeds, weeds will come back. But if you took care of them the first time, you'll be able to take care of them the second time, even in a harvestable uh, state. So, that's kind of what I learned so far. Um, the good sign is, is that I've had this planted at 11 o'clock. It is now 14.30, and so far we've had no weeds. So I know uh, previously in the version that's out now for council, I mean, I'm having a heck of a time with weeds. I'd be, I'd be planting a field and weeds would show up. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop time just for a second. I'm going to go back to uh, normal time. Um, so this should be our first, first growth state of soybeans so we planted at 11 o'clock uh, so four hours later man military time I, I gotta get used to it um, four hours later yeah four hours later we have our first growth stage of soybeans so and so far we have no weeds apparent so, I'm just going to keep fast-forwarding time, and we're either going to see a next growth stage of the crop, or we are going to see a the weeds first appear. Now, the problem with this is, is when, I, when I've done this a couple times, the weeds show up um, extremely fast. So, I kind of got to be uh, quick on the trigger figure. 
so to speak. And I'm assuming it should be uh, later on here in the day. We shouldn't have to worry about... Um, we shouldn't have to worry about any weeds until we get to, I think, about 8, 9 o'clock. But uh, we'll see here. So here we are, um, just approaching five o'clock. It's been six hours since we planted. We are in our first growth stage. We have absolutely zero weeds so far, which is, I guess, a good sign. Um, and the problem with doing this is, is that we're going to be doing a lot of it at night, which I apologize for. It's just the way that it turned out. Um, that's just the way it is, I guess. So coming up here on six o'clock, still one stage of growth on the soybeans, no weeds. So we are seven hours past planting. Coming up on seven o'clock, well, 6.30 right now. Coming up on seven o'clock, still first stage. Well, you can see for yourself, we're crying a lot. I don't need to narrate it to you. Um, And like I said, the last couple of times I've done this, it, it's been so fast. Um, the weed. So there you go. Seven o'clock has come and gone. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of uh, yeah, just kind of like watching paint dry grass grow here. Oh, well, literally, we are watching something grow. Um, eight o'clock. Still nothing. Holy cow, it's getting dark out. Uh, nine o'clock. I think right about here we should see something. Let me get my flashlight on. And be quick on the trigger finger. So oh, coming up at nine o'clock here. 8.30. I want to say right about now is when, we, when I saw something before. Uh... Almost thought there was weeds there. Nope. Oh, crap. Yeah, we did. Um, there. There's my point. Um, so we are just coming up on 9 o'clock. And as you can see, it was that fast. Uh, weeds have gone from 0 to 100%. Now, here's the tricky thing about it. And I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can. Um, the good news is that you had a long time between planting and when weeds showed up. I mean, it wasn't instantaneous, but it says weeds are 100%, but the weeds are not fully grown yet, um, so, which is which is rather interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a little sprayer, and I'm going to buy a little weeder, and we're going to do a little bit of an experiment in here on our field and see how this, um, how this goes. So let me get the equipment over here, and I will be right back. Okay, also a little bonus information for you. Uh, since the update now, when you turn the tractor off, the lights stay on. They don't go off automatically when you turn the tractor off. But anyways, with that said, we have got a sprayer and we have got a weeder. And I'm going to go this way because we're going to use up most of this field on different scenarios. And like, once again, I apologize it's nighttime. I can't control that. Um, we have to do it. We have to do it. So, according to this, if we look at our map, uh, our field down here, growth, um look at the <laughs> look at the color there uh it hasn't changed but yet it kind of looks like to me it's in the second growing stage uh to me there really wasn't a much of a difference between a first and a second but that's where it says on the graph there so keep that in mind um it says we have a hundred percent weeds throughout the field so what's going to happen is and now let's see we started at um we started at 11 o'clock, so, and now it is uh, 9 o'clock, so it's been 10 hours since we planted uh, our first growth. So, I'm only going to use half of this because I want to save some of the field. 
But we're just going to spray this. And the same thing, you know, what we would expect. And I'll just go up to about here. That'll be okay. Um, it's going to kill the weeds. Weeds are at 0%. What we would expect, right? The weeder could do the same thing. Um, 10 hours after planting, weeds show up 100%. So we can go out and we can weed and the same thing is going to happen the weeds are gone okay that's fine and dandy we kind of knew that um but now the question is going to be do they come back and if they do can you get rid of them and how soon until they come back keep in mind 10 hours after planting the weeds showed up which i think uh, for the most part is not too bad because from what I understand from the moment of planting to harvest keep this in mind on plant growth normal is about one day from planting to harvestable so we'll just speed up time here again and uh, we will uh, see what happens we'll keep going here to the next growth stage and just kind of keep going now the bad part about this is then it does take time. I mean, it's, all it is is basically do a few things, fast forward. But here you can both see that we sprayed, we weeded, um, zero percent weeds. What we're going to find out is later on if you let it go. So there's a second um, growth stage, or well, this would be the third growth stage of soybeans. Um, we still have no weeds behind the sprayer and behind the weeder, and where we haven't touched it yet. Um, it still says a hundred percent taken care of. So now the question to ask you, and I, I'm, I'm just going to stop time here for a second. Um, could we uh, take care of the weeds at this plant's growth stage? Well, of course, I think the answer is going to be yes. So I'm going to hop into the weeder, and we'll just kind of have to keep a, a general line here where we uh, weed the first time and we'll weed the second time. But if I continue on here for a little bit, with the weeder we'll go up to here I think I can keep kind of keep this straight but you can help um, weeds are are gone so weeds are taken care of here weeds are taken care of here the same thing is going to happen if we jump in the sprayer and we take care of the weeds again Oh, crap. I didn't want to lose my roundup. Put the roundup back. That is a cool uh, texture that PC has. It's a texture of a different um, uh, stuff. And uh, that's pretty cool. So, once again, uh, we weeded the second growth stage of the crop. It worked just fine. The first stage, it worked just fine. Um, both the weeder and the sprayer. There are no weeds. Um, just depends on where I stand, so you're going to get more there. Uh, right behind the weeder nothing 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 so let's just keep going until we see either more weeds or we see um a next growth stage of the crop which is going to take a little bit here uh like i said we are pretty much going to go through um a full day and uh into the next day so it just kind of sit around and watch and wait uh interesting thing is i'm sitting back here i'm standing back well i'm kind of maybe i'm in the grass uh, yeah, I was standing in the grass there a little bit. You get a little bit close there, and you see the numbers go up. And you think, whoa, what the heck's going on here? Um, but yeah, still 0%. Where we haven't touched the field, uh, we still have 100% weeds. Now, notice that the weeds um, say 100%, but that that is not grow, uh, you know, growth-wise, growth stage, height of the weed. Because uh, when the weed is fully growing, you could say, uh, you are going to get a, a flower on it. So, um, keep that in mind. Yep, still back to zero here. Let's see, new day, 12.25 in the morning. Yeah, see there, I got 8%. Are we starting to get weeds growing again now or we haven't touched, where we touched already? No, it just happens to be, it's just a little um, delay. See, six, am I touching? Yeah, see, it's kind of confusing here. Uh, why I start seeing 5, 6, 1, 10, 11, 3, but for the most part, 0, so it must just be <coughs> moving, excuse me, 
At nine there. Eight. Two, zero. Um, still waiting for the next growth stage in the plant or the uh, next growth stage in the weeds. Like I said, still 100% out here. That's not that's not going to change. Um, I'm just wanting to see if there's any change in here. What we've done already. Um, if we have regrowth in the weeds. A um, little confusing on the box. Oh, see, now it's gone. It, it's, just a, it's just a little delay. Oh, boy. It's like, you know, hey, what do you do? Just sit back, relax, enjoy. 2.40 in the morning. 2.41 in the morning. Better make sure my mouse is still here. Yep, there we go. I just want to make sure I can stop time when something happens. 3 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, I know for the most part, uh, just to blab along here as we wait, um, I've turned off weeds because I can't, I can't stand it. it. It's driving me absolutely nuts. I know a lot of people probably have um, for the most part because it doesn't make any sense. It's kind of, <laughs> you know, you're planting a field and the weeds show up as you're planting the field. I mean, for crying out loud, come on. Um, so, so far from what I see, there have been changes and it has been fixed for the better. But uh, as we get going here, you're going to see there are some other changes that uh okay so there we go we have a next growth stage in the uh, soybeans so if we go to our map here you can see um we kind of you know the growth stages they're hard to tell see to me this is on the last growing stage of the soybeans the color there so we are in the last growing stage of the soybeans um we still have no weeds behind where we did um but of course, what we haven't touched is full of weeds, but yet we still don't have any of the flowering weeds. So let's drop in here. Let's drop in here again. Make sure the weeder's down. The weeder's down. So I'm going to weed a little bit at this last growth stage and see if the weeder does any good. Stop that. Come back here. So no. At the last, last growth stage of the crop, the weeder does not do any good. The weeds are still here. As you can see, uh, weeds are still here. But where I've done them previously, they're gone. Um, well, let me catch up there. Yeah, 0%. So the weeder worked in the first three growth stages. Now it doesn't work. Um, how about the sprayer? The sprayer, I'm assuming, is going to work just fine. The herbicide, the Roundup, is going to kill the weeds. And you won't have a problem with it. Jump the boom. Yep. Zero percent. Absolutely zero percent. So, I guess all we can do now is uh, speed up time until we get to the harvestable stage, which is going to be right about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, the other thing we will see is out here, and where we haven't done yet, we should see a next stage of growth in the weeds. So we'll go back here. We'll fast forward time. And we'll just sit back and relax and enjoy. Uh, well, pretend we'll have, we'll, have a, we'll have a bacon. We'll have some bacon. Pretend we had some bacon delivered out to us from the restaurant. Um, yep, still 100% weeds where the weeder wouldn't work on that growth stage. But going back to the beginning where we first weeded in the first three growth stages, perfect. No weeds, both in the sprayer and in there but now let's take a look because now you're gonna see um here at 5 25 in the morning we have some weeds which is interesting because um the weeds have now come to a full growth where they flowered they have all these little pretty pretty flowers out here um so let's take a look where we did on the third growth stage with the weeder you know, still 100%. So now the weeds have flowered out, right? Uh, the sprayer, behind the sprayer where we weeded, there is absolutely nothing. Let the counter catch up. Absolutely no weeds, period, um, whatsoever. But behind the weeder, um, and I don't know if it's just a little glitch, but no, here it says zero, 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 zero. Zero, 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 until we get to the point where we couldn't weed. Okay, so that makes sense. Now, we are in the last growth stage of the soybeans. 
So is the sprayer going to kill the weeds? My guess is yes, it will. Oops. And of course it did. Um, the weeds are still here. They're, they're dead, but you can still see their um, decaying weeds here. That doesn't go away, but it did. It killed them. Um, how about the weeder itself? Weeder is not going to do any good. Um, it's not going to take care of the weeds in this third final growth stage of the um, of the crop. Yep, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nope, nothing. So now let's just fast forward time. About eleven o'clock, we should see uh, our harvestable stage. It'll be daylight at least. At least we'll be in the day, so we can at least see what's going on here. Um, still, no weeds have regrown, period, since the beginning of this experiment, since planting. So we've only had one growth of weeds um, since this all began, um, which, is, which is good. I, I think it's a good change. Um, you know, the only place that we have weeds is we tried to weed in the, in the last growing stage. That didn't that didn't take care of it. Other than that, we have um, we have no other weeds. I'm just going to stand down here where we first weeded um, to see if uh, or you know did our herbicide application or weeded to see if anything regrows. Um, so either we're going to see the crop uh, come to a harvestable stage here after a little bit, or we might actually see a second growth of of weeds, which would be interesting, I guess. Um, you know, in the real world, we spray for, you know, we, we, we apply herbicides all the time. Uh, it's not just once and you're done. Uh, you do it throughout the year. A lot of Roundup or Liberty Link, depending on what you're, what you're spraying, because Liberty Link soybeans. Um, a, lot of people, a lot of people will still plant Roundup Ready soybeans, but not many, not much in my area because of Roundup resistant um, weeds. But a lot of Liberty Link soybeans. But you still have Roundup Ready corn, Roundup Ready sugar beets so no weeds uh, we are now at uh, 842 so almost a nine o'clock two hours shy of when we first planted this field still no weeds here we're still good to go of course the rest of the field is fully grown with weeds and we should see a difference coming up in here in just a little bit um, we should see a difference in the weed. We should might see a second growth of weeds, which is really going to piss a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say. Well, oh, it's going to piss a lot of people off. Yeah, it is. Uh, I'm free to say that. Um, it's going to make a lot of people angry here in a little bit. Um, let me make sure I got my mouse here set so I can turn that off right away. Um, come on, time 10:17, but 45 minutes shy of when we finish planting this field. I think about 11.15, we should see the crop change to harvestable. There you go. So we'll turn that off. Okay. The soybeans went from the last growth stage to the first harvestable stage. As you can see, where we got the weeds in the beginning, uh, both with the sprayer and with the weeder, uh, we are good to go. The only weeds we see is up here where the weeder... Um, could not take care of the weeds in that third growth stage. Uh, the third growth stage, when the weeds were fully growing, uh, you can still see the weeds are are dead, but um, the remnants are still there. Um, so there you go. Now, the question is, can we kill weeds with the sprayer on the harvestable stage? And my answer is going to be, well, of course we can. And course you can not. So, you cannot get rid of the weeds with a sprayer once the uh, crop has reached a harvestable stage, which is the same thing as it was here before this patch. Um, you couldn't do it. The weeder, of course, is not going to do anything. We're still going to have our weeds. 
So basically, that that's kind of that's kind of how it's uh, it's going to go. Um, roughly there, we are about 24 hours, less than 24 hours this time, into when we first planted. So you should be able to see the difference of the weeds and how long it takes and what the process is. But there's one caveat to this. Um, Mr. CDP did a wonderful video um, on the difference in harvesting between the different uh, harvesting stages, right? And we saw that there was actually no difference, absolutely no difference in yield. So the question is, and that's going to be my next little experiment, is is there a difference between yield with weeds or yield without weeds? Because there should be. There should be. Um, if you don't do any weeding and your field is full of weeds, you should lose yield. Of course you would because the crop, the plant, is competing with the weed for the nutrients, the moisture, so it's not going to develop and grow. Uh, soybeans, for example, is not going to grow as many pods on it as, as it would without weeds. I mean, it's, it's basic knowledge. So I'm going to speed up time again because right now we are in the, um, the first harvestable stage. I want to go to the next two harvestable stages, and I want to see if anything happens with uh, weeds because you could have you could have took care of your weeds right away you think your crop is ready well maybe not maybe you're still gonna have um weeds develop even after you reached um the harvestable stage of the crop and the second thing i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna get the smallest combine and i am going to make one path here of a of a uh, of the field which we did with uh well we could probably go up to here um uh, you know we'll have to kind of make a measurement and to see if the combine if we get the same amount as we did as we do somewhere with with full of weeds so that'd be the next question but from what i understand from what i've already seen here by playing around with this a little bit we should see a second growth spurt of weeds which that's what I'm saying is, is going to upset a lot of people um, a little bit. But, you know, the question is, if the weeds don't affect the yield any, then what's the freaking point of having the weeds in the first place? You know, um, there should be a consequence for not doing weeding, in my opinion. Just my humble opinion. I mean, it certainly is in the real world. If we don't, uh, if we don't do <laughs> control, control our weeds, we have a serious consequence. Um yields go down badly very badly so we are just approaching uh two o'clock uh the day after planting so we are uh 24 27 hours removed of planting um so far our growth stage is still on the first harvestable stage so we haven't seen any difference there um there is no regrowth of weeds where we took care of them the first time of course, the weeds that we haven't even touched in this field um, are still here. And there's nothing that we can do about them. Weeder? Nope. Spraying? Nope. Can't do anything about them. They are there forever. So basically, 24 hours um, for the uh, first harvestable stage. So I want to see how far it is from planting, how far removed from planting is the second harvestable stage, even though that according uh, to the proof that we saw in Mr. C.W.'s video, it makes no difference. Um, the only difference that that's going to make the, the three harvestable stages of the crop is if you have plant weathering turned on. It's almost like a warning, warning system, you know? Okay, well, you're in the last harvestable stage. You better get it done, otherwise your crops will wither if you have withering on of course um if you have withering on let's just double check here to make sure that we're still yeah we're still in the first harvestable stage because we're not going to see any difference in the crop i mean the crop once it looks like this and it's in harvestable stage um yeah, it'll stay like that of course uh, but still no weeds here where we first took care of the weeds So we are just approaching 5.30. Go back to the map. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Uh, let's stop time there real quick. So 
back to the map. We are on now the second harvestable stage of the um, crop. There are still no weeds uh, regrowing where we took care of them. Um, of course, you still have a bunch of weeds up here. And it's going to be the exact same thing, I would assume, that uh, you can't take care of weeds in the second harvestable stage um, if you waited that long. Unless there's a, a little present for you. But what the heck. Go back here to where we ended. Nope. Doesn't do any good. <coughs> Off through the crack. Right? So you're in the second stage of a harvestable. You're in the second harvestable stage of the crop. Uh, you, if you've had weeds in here, it ain't gonna do any good. You can't. You can't get rid of them. Uh, period. Going back to the beginning where we planted, we do not have any weed regrowth. Let's just keep fast forwarding time here. Uh, we're almost done. This is get, it's, it gets longer than you than you than you think. But uh, how else can you do it if you you know I can just do a time lapse. But then um, I wanted to show you know kind of like in real time, so to speak. Um, approaching six thirty, I thought that we'd have had a regrowth by now, but I guess not. Uh, maybe it's on a third growth stage, third harvestable stage, I should say. Coming up on 7 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, we're still in the um, second harvestable stage still no weeds now it's gonna get nighttime again gosh darn it um i don't know it'd be, it'd be an interesting thing a poll how many people harvest their crops in the first harvestable stage second or they wait till it, uh, the third um i know most people if you waited until the third because uh, you got higher yield would make sense, but you know in the real world once your crop reaches uh, full maturity, you know harvestable um, It's not growing anymore uh, Except for the case of certain root crops like sugar beets for example because I'm familiar with sugar beets um, The longer the sugar beet stays in the ground it continues to grow just because sugar beets is a biennial So it's growth stage is two years long the second year it actually grows the flower which reduces the seed but the first year if it stays in the ground, it's going to continue to grow. So your tonnage will go up. Uh, how much uh, tons you had per acre will go up. But your sugar percentage um, goes way down. So it's it's kind of a, eh, eh, you know, tit for tat. That um, are you better off having a, uh, a huge crop with lots of tonnage or a smaller crop with a higher sugar percentage? And some people will tell you that, they, you know, your, your premium for high sugar percentage uh, outweighs um, the tonnage. But here we are. Oh, hey, do I hear rain? <laughs> you know what? I've been playing uh, FS17 since it came out. Uh, 21 episodes, like on uh, Felsbrin, for example. This is the first time since FS7, FS19 has come out that I have seen it rain. Um, unreal. Okay, we're still in the, I'm still waiting for the third uh, growth stage of, or the third harvestable stage. Because um, my theory is that in the third stage of harvesting, I don't know how you say that, harvestable stage, uh, the dark orange, that we should see a uh, second spurt of, um, of weeds, this is my opinion. So we're approaching the third day since planting. Still nothing here. Come on, time. Um, this is getting a little, a little carried away here. I want to do a uh, bonus thing. Oh, wait. Look at that. Um, nope. Oh, I was still way up there. I thought I had maybe some weeds regrowing. Thunder. Awesome. Yeah, that's just up by the weeder where the weeder didn't take care of anything. Um, yep, still nothing. Still nothing. Are we still in the, um, this is where it kind of gets, okay. 
So now we are into the um, the last harvestable stage, you could say, um, of the uh, of the crop. We've had no regrowth in weeds, which kind of uh, surprises me because I have video evidence that um, I had weeds come back um, at this stage. I had weeds that that came back, but it's not happening this time. Um, Maybe right after this clip, I'll play the clip of the weeds coming back so you can see what I mean. Um, but yeah, that's kind of interesting. I thought the weeds came back. So in this experiment, right now, the way we did it, uh, you took care of the weeds in the beginning. You don't have to worry about them again. Um, they're, they're not going to come back. They're not going to regrow. Now, there are certain variables that will change here. Um... For example, I don't know if it I don't know if the weeds are dependent on on um, if you have just a regular tilled field, if you had a plowed field. Um, I did it from the start to the finish because I think that's the easiest way to do it. Um, grass, for example, there's a grass field I think just right over here um, has no weeds, so that that hasn't changed at all any. Um, but yeah, I think that uh, pretty much uh, explained it. I am gonna I'm gonna let it fast forward until we get to the. Uh, do I have wilting on or off? Let me think. I'm gonna turn plant wilting off. Um, I'm gonna wait till it gets to the daylight here and the rain stops, and I'm gonna do a little harvesting for a bonus experiment. But if all you wanted to know about weeds and a, uh, I hope that helps. I hope that answers some questions. Um, please feel free to leave comments in the uh, video and questions, comments, and I'll certainly come back on here and do a few more experiments if that's what matters. But um, I'll wait and see what happens until we get to the daylight, the rain stops, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, here we are, the third day after planting. You can see where we took care of the weeds. There is no weed regrowth. Now, there's no weed, weed regrowth all the way down to where we got to the point where the crop was um, um, harvestable. See, there the weeds start up where we, where we couldn't kill them anymore. But even the weeds that we did in the first, second, third, and fourth growth stage of the crop are all gone, of course, and there has been no weed regrowth. So in this experiment, uh, I think that pretty much answers everything we need to know about weeds. But out of curiosity, I got a bison combine here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a worker and I am going to go down to a certain point here where we um, where we stopped. And I'll tell you what we're going to do. Um, let's see. Let's just go right right there. Okay. So 253 liters of um, soybeans. I'm just going to place um, a silo here real quick. Oh, come on. I own the land. You got to let me place it somewhere. Oh, for crying out loud. What? Right there? Good enough for me. Um... And we will go and we will empty this. So remember the word, remember 253. This is not going to be an exact, I'm just trying to get a general idea. <coughs> Excuse me, another mosquito in my throat. we we'll dump that off. If I can get the bison up the hill. Oh, come on, bison. Yeah, you can do better than this. Um... So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the weeds where we haven't done any weed control and it'll be an aerial marker. So here you can see we have full weeds. I'm going to start a worker to get a full header with. Oops, did I start too enough? Yeah. And then, just by using the aerial view here, we should be able to see if the combine gets to where it was down there, you can tell that um, there's been no difference in yield and I think that's going to be the case 
was already over 150, 54. So basically, this this kind of this kind of brings you to the point. What in the heck is the point of the weeds then if they don't affect the yield? Okay, 155, 255. So look at that. So we're you know right up. Well, actually, <laughs> it looks like the weeds gave you more, doesn't it? Uh, didn't go as far. 253, 255. Uh, I know it's not it's not a perfect you, you you would take a whole field and you would do a whole field But that's a general idea. There is no difference in yield If uh, you have a field that has full of weeds or a field that you had weed control in um, So that's a little bit of ir that's a little irritating uh, To me that it, it should affect yield yeah, and I don't know maybe down the road They'll they'll do something about that, but um, But yeah um, So there you go that is a long-winded explanation into the weeds post-patch. Now, as I, as I keep going on here, I, I have another question. Um, let's say you harvested a field, like we did here. How long is it going to take for weeds to show up? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make you watch the time go by, but um, I will speed up time. And it's 11, let's say 11.20. Um, when weeds show up, I will uh, come back and I'll let you know. Okay, just to end it, uh, as you can see, it is now, um, 2.22. So three hours, at, well, roughly three hours, yeah, 12, 11, 20. Uh, three hours between harvestable, um, the weeds have shown up. So three hours. Uh, after you harvest the field, uh, weeds will show up, which really, you know, that doesn't bother me as much as because basically you're going to come in and either you're going to seed it or till it up anyway, so the weeds will be gone. Um, but that kind of gives you a general idea how fast after harvesting you'll see the weeds, about three hours. So there you have it. I guess that's all I can, that's all I can really show you. Uh, like I said, if you want me to test anything else, but I'm assuming this is going to be out um, very early Monday morning. Um, who knows the patch for council could be out Monday Tuesday. Hopefully this I mean for sure this week I would assume uh, But hopefully uh, sooner rather than later, but um, if there's anything else you want to know I'd be more than happy to um, put tell you a couple side questions that somebody did ask me do animal prices change with that economic video No animal prices are are the exact same uh, no matter what um, Economic difficulty you have it on they, they remain the same. So that's a question that I thought I would throw in there in case they're watching. But anyways, that's all I can tell you about weed control um, post-patch. Um, th I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope I answered some questions. I hope it, uh, you know, works for you. At least a little bit. Explains a little bit about weed control post-patch. Um, hey, if you happen to like the video, give us a like. I would appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that as well. That would also be greatly appreciated. But um, from Felsbrin on this, uh, hey, now the sun's shining. Beautiful afternoon. Have yourself a great Monday, and we'll talk to you next time. Adios.